G'day guys and welcome back to Raging Rhino. Today I wanted to talk a little bit more about the Book of Boba Fett. Now I know there's some people out there that have enjoyed it and good for you, but I think majority of people have actually started to see this for what it actually is, and that is not being Star Wars. They've changed the character of Boba Fett. They're not really putting too much effort into it. It's very slapstick. And it's baffling to me how they can say that they're doing something epic with Boba Fett and they have these very easy things that they could have fixed up and it's just some of the things in the visuals but then again they've changed the character of Boba Fett completely from who he was from who he was even in the Mandalorian so they can't even keep their own continuity going straight they're just doing these it seems like they're just doing these things and as they're going they're making it up and it really feels that way but look, I just wanted to go through a couple of things with you. So Bounding Into Comics is reporting on a rumor. The Book of Boba Fett ratings not doing as well in streaming as the Walt Disney Company would like. Now, yeah, you could kind of see that. I, I don't really know how much I could believe that because I still think a lot of people watched this episode. There was still a little bit of hype behind The Mandalorian, I think, uh, even though they got rid of Gina Carano and... I think there was still a fair few people that, that watched it. Now, I don't like to get into the rumor stuff because I don't see that l really leading to anything. I'd rather just see the content and then just judge the content on what it actually is. Yeah, I listen to the rumors and I hear what they are and some of them are completely ridiculous, but I don't like getting into the rumors. But then you go over to comicbook.com and they're saying that the Book of Boba Fett draws bigger Disney Plus premiere than uh, Hawkeye. So, again, I, I don't really know what the go is with the rumors and with the how it all works with the streaming. And, and to be honest with you, I don't really care because I watch it and it was shit to me anyway. So if we just go over to Rotten Tomatoes, it's got an 83% critic score and a 72% audience score. Now, to be honest with you, I don't really know how to take Rotten Tomatoes anymore. It seems to be the only thing that anyone ever uses to judge anything on, but we always say that it's a shit website. So I don't know why we continue to use it. Again, it's probably because it's one of the only things out there. Well, that I know of anyway, but I'm a complete boomer when it comes to this shit. But anyway, if we look at it on the standing of Star Wars, a 72% audience score is really bad. Really bad. Especially due to the fact that Star Wars fans hold Star Wars in such a high standard that they want it to be good. Now, I thought this was funny. Lyndon sent me this. Jack Posobiec, I think is how you pronounce his name. Uh, he got asked a question randomly in this random tweet. Jack, did you watch the book of Boba Fett? And he goes, no, and I never will. And I thought that was, I, I don't know whether or not he's not a Star Wars fan and he's never watched any Star Wars and he really doesn't care or whether or not he is a Star Wars fan and he just hates what Disney's done and just doesn't want to watch it or whether or not he's just not interested. Who knows? He hasn't actually elaborated on the comment, even though he has been asked. Now, I thought we could go through some of the replies. So, of course, we've got the Sentinel jumping in here with facts. Disney Star Wars isn't Star Wars. Absolutely. These first couple at the top, I don't really care. Like, that because they're just taking shots at him. But then you've got, like, this one here. Jack, you must. <laughs> I thought that this was funny. Why? Because it's trash. Quite uh, correct there, sir. Here's one. One episode in, and it's lame and confusing. Doubt I'll watch episode two. The Empire one. Uh, correct answer. Expanse is greater than Disney Star Wars. There's some people in there sort of asking, like, why, and uh, this is another good take. Disney Star Wars isn't canon. Fuck Disney. <laughs> I thought this was a good take. When I was a kid, I used my lawn mowing money to buy this poster of Boba Fett from Star Wars Inside a Mag. That was signed by Jeremy Bullock and Dave Dorman. Fett was my favorite character. I watch these Boba Fett Mandalorian shows now and meh. The best Star Wars movies were made 1977-83. And then right down the bottom here you got, 
Why the fuck not? Well, let me show you why the fuck not. Because I saw this today on Instagram. I had to take a screenshot and I had to bring it over onto Twitter. I'm sure it's out there and able to get around. But this just goes to show how much Disney doesn't care. How, much, how easy would it have been to just take that background and just green screen it to the back of this? My last video, I showed some major editing errors. And of course, there's continuity issues. Uh, we know that it fits in with the Aftermath novel and the way they showed that Sarlacc escape, horrible. E everything about the character of Bulba was pretty much destroyed in this episode. They can't even keep their own continuity with his badassness from the Mad Mandalorian. And I saw this, so I had to post it. Spot the difference. Disney Star Wars is a fucking joke. They really don't care and neither should you. So, in the scene that we see, in the flashback that we see in the Book of Boba Fett, there's a lot less dead droids, a lot less bodies behind him. And the reek isn't even in the shot. It's, it's unbelievable. And I know that people are going to say, who cares? Like, is it really that changing anything? Well, n not really, I guess. But yes, it is. It's changing everything. They're changing everything about Boba Fett. And it's just, it's fucked. Watch my last video if you didn't get a chance. The editing errors in that in this episode are just fucking horrible. They're as bad as the disappearing dagger in The Last Jedi. And then they go and do this. It's a completely different shot. And it's a completely different background. So no wonder people are just giving up on Star Wars. They watch this and they go, what a joke. A lot of people have said this was bad. And not just for the character destruction of Boba Fett. I know that that's another major issue for a lot of the people. And it's a major issue for me. But that high standard that we held Star Wars to, it's coming crumbling down real quick. I mean, look at the difference in this picture. A lot less droids, destroyed droids behind him. The reeks not in the shot. It's... They really don't care about continuity or anything. And people will say, oh, it's just a shot. Who cares? Well, I care. <laughs> That's who cares. I do. As a Star Wars fan, I care. And so should everybody else that likes Star Wars. That thinks that George did a good job, I guess. It's absolutely ridiculous. And this is just a small snippet of why people really don't care. I mean, the first episode wasn't engaging at all. It, it, you don't care about anything. Boba Fett's just this weak little person that can't actually understand or... or Like, there was the bit where the, the, the guy was giving him tribute. And he asks Fennec, did you get any of that? And she goes, oh, something about friendship. It's like, okay, couldn't he determine, like, something about friendship out of that? The fact that he's giving him credits? I mean, it's just, it's bad. They're going to get a protocol droid because he calls that out. And yes, they should have one. Like, on the surface, if you really want to turn your brain off, maybe you could get some enjoyment out of this, I guess. I couldn't. Even if I turned my brain off, I couldn't enjoy this. It's so boring. And so destructive. So destructive to the character of Boba Fett. It really actually is. It's just as destructive as Luke Skywalker. And it's got the editing errors just as bad as The Last Jedi. And I know there's a lot of people out there that watched it, didn't like it. I know there's a lot of people out there that are so switched off from Star Wars, so disconnected from Star Wars that they're not even watching it, and fair enough. I'm at that point with Disney Star Wars, but I'm going to continue to watch it to continue telling people how much this isn't Star Wars. Anyway, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. What do you think about the rumors? Do you reckon 
that it's doing well? Do you reckon it's doing bad? Uh, did you like it if you watched it? If you didn't watch it, what do you, what do you think about all this talk about it? I'm sure you've seen it. What do you think about this? This scene here? The difference that they've made? Does it do anything for you or are you just like, eh, who cares? Let me know. I'd be interested to hear if you're one of those people that's, eh, don't care. And why? Like, please let me know in the comments below. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.